Hi crafters, happy new year. I am so excited for the first video of 2020 and I thought we could kick off with some super cute, super easy um, little Valentine's Day bags that I got from Target, which I'll show you in just a second. And I'm gonna bust out my brand new Easy Press, oh, sorry, Mini Easy Press. Uh, so we will play with that today. These bags are super tiny, so I thought it would be the perfect, um, uh, perfect project to bust that out. So all you need is your Mini Easy Press, some HTV, and if you wanna use the little bags from Target, I will show you what those look like in just a minute. And with that, let's get started. All right, so let's get started on our little Valentine uh, little baggies here. So these are the two SVGs I'm going to use, and I just found these in Cricut Design Space. I just searched for Valentine, and they have just like tons of cute stuff here. So I thought it would be um, cute to put these on both of their um little all their little bags so we'll just need one for Cooper because he's our little Mr. Valentine and then the other SVG little Miss Valentine will be for Madeline and Morgan the ladies so these bags I have are teeny tiny they are little three inches uh by about well the space I I want to put this on I mean is about three inches by about two inches. So these are gonna be pretty tiny. So it's the perfect project for um, my mini Easy Press. So to start off, I'm just going to unlock my SVG here. So this is the SVG. Um, this is like the image that we're gonna be using. And so by unlocking this, it lights up this little, these little arrows down here. So now we can manipulate the image however we want. So like I said, I only have about three inches to play with. So I think I'll do about a little over two by two. So it's about two by two and a quarter. So I think that should work out. And actually I might make it even a little. So it's about one and three fourths by two and oops two and a quarter. So I'm going to do the same thing to this one over here because I want them to be basically the same size. So I'm just going to shrink it. Okay, so now I want to figure out what color HTV or heat transfer vinyl I want to do this with. So I'm looking at my stash right now, and I think for the girls, I'll do, actually, I think for all three, I'm going to do red. Do I have red HTV anywhere? I think I do. So I'm going to do like a red because the bags have, are like pink, so I think red will look nice. So what I want to do is I want to change the color of both of these to red just so it tells my machine like, hey, I want both of these cut out of red. So luckily this one is already in red. So all I need to do is click this one here, come up here to my color palette. And so I could choose like any red I want but this is telling us, hey, you already have this red. Do you want to use this one too? So just to make it easy, that's what I'm going to do. So these are both the exact same color. So that is basically it. Now all we have to do is come over here to make it. And we can see both of these are going to be cut out on the same color HTV. And with any kind of heat transfer vinyl, unless the material says otherwise, we want to mirror this. The reason why is because it's going to cut, the Cricut machine is going to cut our letters um, on the back side of the vinyl and then when, or on the heat transfer vinyl, and then when we go to 
press it, we actually flip it over. So we're going to be pressing them with the letters in the correct, you know, they'll be the correct orientation. So it's, ex it's hard to explain without being able to show you, but don't worry, I will show you. Um, basically just mirror it. Just trust me. You're going to make your life a lot easier. So I'm going to come over here to continue and it's going to find our machine. I'm using my maker, but you could absolutely use your air explorer to whatever you have. Um, and I am going to be using, I believe I'm going to see if I have any a red glitter uh, HTV left. So once this finds our machine, then we will choose our um, cut settings. Okay, so we have our settings here. I am going to be using glitter iron on, so I'm just going to click that and see it even tells us up here make sure mirror is turned on and material is placed with the bonded side up on the mat or the shiny side down. So I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So I'm gonna switch you guys over to the camera so we can get to pressing. All right guys, so we have our Easy Press Mini. And like I said, I haven't even taken this out of the box. So let's, um, let's try and do that. If uh, this lets me. Alright, so it looks like this is how we're going to have to open this. <gasps> Look at it! It is so... Okay, this is just the cutest thing ever. So there's a little get started guy. Here's our little verbal put it. I just cannot get over how cute this is. No shade to my gigantic heat press, easy press over here in the corner, but this is going to be so great because a lot of the projects I do are kind of small. Um... I mean, this is over here is great for like shirts and all that kind of stuff, but for tiny little things like I'm going to be doing today, this is just freaking perfect and it is just so cute. has a cord, so this is good to go. All right, so like I said, these are the little cute bags I'm going to be using. They're so cute. I saw these, I was like, I have to, I have to get these. Um, and I've said this a couple times, my nieces and my nephew, they really just, you know, they reap the benefits of all the crafting. Okay, so we are going to be using our blue light grip mat today. And I've ha I had someone comment and they were like, do you really need like a bunch of other mats or can you just invest in a blue mat and, you know, be done with it? And honestly, I think... The blue mat is the one I use 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, every now and then I will use my green one or if I'm doing like chipboard or something, I will do um, the purple. But really the re the blue mat, um, that is the one I primarily use. So if you only can get one mat, I would get the blue. But I'm pretty sure your machine comes with a green mat. But if you like need to go buy another one, I recommend the blue. So this is the um, red glitter HTV I'm going to use. So we are going to be cutting it with the shiny side face down. So the shiny side is basically, that is our carrier sheet. So that is what we are going to be, that's what the vinyl is currently stuck to. And that's what we're going to use to put it onto our um, uh, onto our bags. So that's, that's basically it. So I'm just going to, this is a piece of scrap that I had. And that is why I say save your scraps because you can just get so much use out of it. 
All right, so I'm gonna put this shiny side face down. That's how I'm gonna stick it onto my mat. And we already have our settings ready to go. All right, so now that our light is blinking, that is telling us we can load our mat. So I'm gonna load my mat and push the arrows to load it. And when I load it, I kind of like give it a little like nudge. I kind of like push it in. Uh, I just feel like it helps it a little bit. I don't know why this has been happening to me lately. My It'll like disconnect and then reconnect. I don't know if it's like my internet or design space or my Bluetooth connection, but whatever. But once this goes back to blue, there we go, we can cut. Okay, so now let's look at our heat press. So it has this little on button here. We have three different settings, and then we can turn it off. So for this project, I'm gonna start, wow, that already starts to heat up too, that's not really. Um, I'm gonna start with like medium heat, see how it works, and then we'll go from there. But right now, I'm just gonna let it kinda do its thing. And also, I'm going to empty out these bags, because there's no way I'll be able to press that. So I'm gonna empty out the bags, and set these aside so I don't get them mixed up. All right, so now that this is cut, we can take our vinyl off the mat and I'm just going to trim what I want to save as a scrap. All right, and I'm just gonna separate these into the three okay then that's our scrap my meeting tool all right so now I'm just going to Okay, so now I'm just going to weed these. So basically, I'm gonna be removing all of the excess um, HTV that we don't need. So to do that, I like to just pull up a corner with my weeding tool and just kind of peel away what I don't need. And HTV is really Actually, I like working with it. It's pretty easy to work with most of the time. I feel like vinyl gives me more problems sometimes than um, HTV, so. But with anything this small, it can get a little dicey. But, so now I'm just gonna go in and get rid of the middles like the middles of the R few of the other letters all right so we have our first one super cute so we'll just put it right there and you could obviously write whatever you want for these. You could do um, names or whatever. I just thought these SVGs would be super cute. So now we'll do the girls. And again, just pulling away what we don't need.
All right, so we have this one, little Miss Valentine, super cute. And so now I'm just gonna do this second one of the little Miss, and then we will start to press. All right, so now we have our third one. So now we can press these. So this has been heating up, it is green. So I'm assuming that means it's good to go and it did its little beepy thing. And just FYI, so each of these come with like little like hearts. This one just has like a bunch of letters, like way more than we'll need. So I'm not, exactly I, I might have to take one of these back so this one I'm just gonna set to the side because this one the letters are like all crazy so just FYI if you buy these from Target maybe check to see what letters you're getting because this is a bunch of gibberish I feel like over here and it doesn't have any hearts so I don't know anyway okay so to press these um, since the back is plastic, I am going to fold up a piece of parchment paper and I'm just going to put it on the inside just to protect the plastic. Um, and then I'm going to also put a piece of parchment over the, uh, HTV itself to press like I typically would. So I'm just going to put this right here in the middle. put my piece of parchment over it and then take my little heat press and I'm just gonna press this for I this does not have a timer I don't think not that I see so I'm just gonna press it for maybe I don't know it's in maybe like 20 seconds or so and I'm trying not to move this around too much I'm just really pressing down. Let's see. So it's sticking down fine, but I'm just going to give it one more little go just for good measure. Okay. So now we can. So cute. Looks so cute and the plastic for the most part was protected. It got a little warm, I won't lie. Um, and that's just paint from my table, so that will come off. But it's pretty much still intact, you could see. So super cute. So now we'll do the same thing to this one here. Maybe. So I'm just putting the parchment to protect it. All right, take my mini and just press. So it's been about 10 seconds. I'm now going to do the bottom half of it. Do the top again. All right. Again, plastic is still relatively intact. Again, it's a little warm, but that's fine. Um, and we could peel off. So cute. So now we can put our pieces Oh no. I think these got a little mixed up. Oh well. I'll go back later and make sure that they actually <laughs> spell words. So then, so cute, right? So cute. And it's just like a little bit of customization. It's nothing crazy. This probably took a total of like 15 minutes or so. And this little guy was perfect. If I tried to do this with that monstrosity, that would not, that would just be crazy. So there you have it. All right, guys. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Our first project with our little new addition here it worked like a freaking gem. I have a feeling I'm going to be using this guy a lot. So 
Happy New Year. If you guys like this, um, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I love reading the comments and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Some that are mean, I don't uh, reply to, but um, <laughs> I'm open to feedback. So anyways, I hope you guys have a happy New Year, happy Valentine's Day, and as always, happy crafting.